What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Raptoy Def, and today I'm gonna to be talking about whether civil engineering is a good profession in 2020. Let's get into it. Before we get into my own personal advice, my own experiences for you, uh, I wanna tell you what the experts think. Keep in mind, I'm just gonna give you some quick numbers and then I'll actually give you some, some nice meat and juice uh, as to what I think about this career. So right now I'm gonna reference usnews.com. Uh, and they rated the top 100 best jobs in the United States. And this is what they said. So out of all 100 best jobs, civil engineering ranked 33. Uh, out of the best engineering jobs, it ranked number two, right behind mechanical engineering. Uh, out of best STEM jobs, it rated number 17. That includes the medical field, um, all science jobs, all engineering jobs. The unemployment rate is 0.9% currently, which is amazing. This is probably pre-COVID, so it's probably a little worse. Uh, number of jobs currently is 20,500. Once again, probably pre-COVID numbers, uh, so it's probably a little worse. Um, and then some quick numbers out of 10. They rank salary 7.4 out of 10. Job market 10 out of 10. Future growth 6 out of 10. Stress level 6 out of 10. And work-life balance 4 out of 10. So that's really it um, on their stats, on their studies. But now I wanna tell you what I actually think about civil engineering from my own personal experiences. Overall, I think civil engineering is a great profession in the year 2020 moving forward. Um, if you think about it, civil engineering is everywhere. No matter who you are watching this video right now, I can guarantee you, you somehow came across some form of civil engineering today. Think about it. If you drove on a road, if you crossed over a bridge, if you went to the bathroom, if you threw something out in the garbage, some way or another, that uh, all of those processes incorporates some kind of civil engineering. Um, it's truly the backbone of our society. Uh, it's, it's the infrastructure of our, of our entire world. No matter what country you're from, there's always gonna be civil engineering. Um, so it's here to stay. Uh, there's gonna be tons of jobs out there available. Things are current, constantly breaking as we know. Things constantly need to be redesigned, inspected, innovated, uh, and that's where we come in, civil engineers. To add to this point, of course, as we know, climate change is certainly a real thing. And as we move towards the future, we're gonna be pushed towards cleaner energy, um, PV, solar energy, geothermal, uh, wind turbines, protecting the coast from erosion, flooding. This all incorporates civil engineering, um, and it's gonna be our duty to improve the society we live in protected as well so that just means more jobs for us and uh, more work to do with this being said that goes into account with jobs and employment levels and that is one of the best things about civil engineering the the job market is is incredible um, if you go on Google right now just look for civil engineering environmental engineering structural engineering geo geotechnical engineering um, transportational engineering those are all forms of civil engineering Think of it as a tree, right? Civil engineering is the tree, and there's different branches. Transportational, geotechnical, structural, and environmental. And if you just go on Google, look up civil engineering jobs, I guarantee you, you'll find a lot. Because civil engineering surrounds us every single day, um, and is in every aspect of our life, that means that you can pretty much work wherever you want. Um, you know, if I wanted to work, right now I'm in New York, but if I wanted to work in California, I'm very confident in myself that I could find a job there. Um, if I wanted to work somewhere in Mexico or London, just for example, um, I'm sure I could do that. I'm sure you can too if you're a civil engineer and that's something you wanted to do, something you're interested in. Um, so the job market is amazing. It's similar to nursing. You know, there's hospitals everywhere. People are always getting sick. People always need to be taken care of. Civil engineering is very similar to that where you could pretty much work anywhere in the world um, and there's always jobs available. Now this ties into the next point actually, because too often today, um, an undergraduate degree is not enough. People have to go for their masters or PhDs, look for internships. This is not like civil engineering though. Uh, everyone I graduated with in my undergrad, I know has a job. Everyone I graduated with my master's degree has a job. Um, you only need an undergraduate degree to find a good quality job working for a pretty cool company. Um, and, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, you don't have to take as much student loans and you'll get a healthy salary right off the bat. In terms of the work itself, like I mentioned before, civil engineering is very general, but it can also be very specific. 
So if you wanted to work on a variety of projects, you can do that. But if you wanted to just concentrate on structural engineering, designing structures, beams, columns, you could do that. If you wanted to focus more so on environmental, do water treatment, um, stormwater management, you can do that as well. So the, uh, the ability to work on different projects for different clients, it's very exciting. Um, and it gives you a lot of um, leeway in terms of just what you wanna do. Another great thing, is that uh, you know some people don't like a desk job. Some people like being outside. As a civil engineer, you can do inspections. You can do um, you know construction, where you'll be out in a trailer, be outside most of the day, or you can be in the office. You know if you like being a design engineer, you can be behind a computer, working with the people in the office, um, or you can get a taste of both. You know personally for me, I am in the office most of the time. But I do have to go out, sometimes do inspections, sometimes watch over um, contractors as they do actual construction. Before you actually design a site or a road or a bridge, you have to go out, kind of get an understanding of what everything looks like, what the current conditions are, and then you'll go back into the office um, and do your design. So if you wanna work inside, outside, or get a mix of both, you can do that as a civil engineer. One of the best things about being a civil engineer is that your work truly has an impact on society. You know, if you're designing a road, eventually thousands, of, even millions of people will eventually drive over that road. If you're designing a bridge in New York City, um, you know, that's historical. If you're designing a skyscraper or even just a, a water treatment plant, you have a true impact on the people around you. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. You get to see your designs actually come into creation and have a, a change and an impact on the world today. In terms of stress levels, me personally, I found that the career itself gets stressful near deadlines of course when you have a design that needs to be put out um, you know you're probably gonna have to work longer hours to get that done but besides facing deadlines um, like I said for me personally it hasn't been too stressful pretty relaxed I work with a lot of cool people a lot of knowledgeable people and understanding people uh, so for me it's not very stressful unless a deadline comes up but that's for a lot of careers of course now I know people want me to talk about salary and pay as a civil engineer so I have some numbers here from the same report, the US News report. Um, the lowest 25% of civil engineers, uh, the cutoff is $67,430. The median pay right down the middle is $86,640. And the top 25% of civil engineers in the country, the United States, uh, make $112,850. Now this is also subjective. Your pay really depends on how long you've been working at your company, if you have a higher degree, where you work in the country or where you work in the world, uh, which company you work for. So there's a lot of different factors here. If you have your PE license, of course, a lot of different factors, but those are some general numbers to give you um, some kind of understanding about the pay. And that's pretty much what I have for you guys today. Um, overall, like I said, I think civil engineering is a great, great profession. Moving forward, especially in the future with clean energy, things always breaking, new designs need to be implemented. The ability to work anywhere in the world, seeing your designs come to life, truly impacting society, having a solid pay right out of college and only going up from there. Uh, civil engineering is wonderful and I highly recommend it to you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Please hit the subscribe button for more videos coming your way. Click the notification button to see my videos as soon as they come live. Like the video if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until the next time, peace out, stay beautiful, later.